Hello, if you would like to take pictures, what do you need? Fancy camera, sophisticated equipment, beautiful model, attractive scenery, or beautiful landmarks. Would you believe me that you could make a great pictures without all this? And today, I would take you to explore that possibility which is called street photography. Street photography is a style of photography where people take photos to reflect people's lifestyle. Each photo has a meaning and a story in it. Suitable places for doing street photography are, for example, market, community, street, vendor, walking street, and the places that have a lot of people. Hello, today I have a great opportunity to be with Kulmunwo Patarawi, who is a serious photo street photography hobbyist. So, Kulmunwo, why do you think that street photography is interesting? Well, I think the street photography itself is when you actually using no equipment that is specialized to take picture. The story itself is being told from the picture itself, and I think that is when I find so magical about it. So, what equipment do you need to have? Well, since uh, you don't need any specialized equipment, I think uh, any cameras would do. You know, actually, I would like to focus on a very general, normal camera iPhone cameras, Android cameras, small compact cameras, okay? And you need to dress yourself so you blend into, into the environment. Don't let yourself be stand out and people detect you as a photographer. That is so insightful. Thank you very much for your time, Kumun Wong Patrawi. Pleasure, Kat. Good luck, Kat. Can you tell us the tips? Yeah, very simple. I have my six uh, rules, principles of the tips. One is that you use a magical hand. Magic hand. We need to shoot when the subject matter is acting as natural as they can. Therefore, candid or not letting the subject matter notice while you are shooting them is a good technique for straight photography. For example, you pretend to take a picture of yourself or what you call selfie. Then you take down a camera to shake the photo you have shot. This is a time when you shoot your subject matter. Two is when you seek what we call the frame element and outstanding background. Interesting background. Background is one of the important element and factor of each photo. Therefore, we should find an interesting background in order to have a good photo. Also, to make our subject matter outstanding, framing is a good way to do it. So, you find a background that can make it as a frame of the photo. You go to that background and you wait for the human element to give the sense of scales and sense of time. Three, if you could have a remote control, use it. You can connect the camera to your phone or remote control and control it remotely. You can control the function from your remote. Focus point, change the ISO, the aperture, the exposure compensation, and you can have your camera set up in the spot or maybe just hanging out on your side or camera strap. And you're looking at your phone and you see the light weave 
from your camera. Four, get local help. Going to local. Local is the best background for the street photography as it gives a sense of human nature and it is realistic. However, you should not go alone. Having a good companion who knows very well about a particular place is better. You need to know which area you can go or which area is dangerous. Or even some places are forbidden to take photo. You need someone to be able to give you all of those advices so you will be aware of it. Five, shoot as many as possible and pick the best. Burst your bubble. You cannot get a good photo from just one shot, definitely. You need to take heaps of them first, then pick out just good ones. You may unexpectedly find that some of them are such incredible photo with a perfect timing, good use of light, and composition. And six, ice breaking. The last tip is ice breaking. Sometimes there is no way to take a photo without the acknowledgement of the subject matter. Candid is not the only way to do street photography. However, if the subject matter notices that you are taking photo of them, they might feel uncomfortable. Therefore, it would be a good way to break the wall and make friends with them. We have got some tips of how to have a good shot of street photography. We would like to show you some samples of good street photographs from famous professional street photographers around the world. The first person is Gary Vinogran, a famous American street photographer during the mid 20th century. The next person to present you is Sher Ahmad Asher from Malaysia. Fortunately, this famous and very talented Malaysian street photographer is still active and producing incredible street photographs for us to see today. The last model photographer I'm going to show you is Shang Tsai. He was actually from Taiwan. However, a lot of his photographs were set in Shanghai during the period of World War II. We have seen some examples of professional street photographers around the world. Now, it is time for us to try and make our street photo using some of six tips we have mentioned before. Let's see how it goes.
we use Camilla as a mirror to reflect the way people live. And street photography is the best way to explore the human nature in real situation because the subject matters are not acting or posting. Realistic and truth is what we get from street photography. Yeah, <laughs>